Get your High Toys Godzilla figures at the Kauki's Toys website. Discount codes are given in the description below. Hey guys, James Simmons Prime here, and today we're going to review the Hayat Toys Exquisite Basic Kong from Kong Skull Island. This will be a quick video to show you the full features of this product. I will point out the negatives and the positives, so I'll do my best to be not biased in this review. This figure was supposed to be released in quarter 4, 2024, but thankfully, it got moved into quarter 2, 2024. So this is a fun fact, people. If Hayatoys posted a figure with a very long release date, just prepare because it could be released way earlier. So without further ado, let's take a look at this figure. So first, let's take a look at the details. The figure is very well sculpted. Here's the inside of Kong's mouth. You can see, the sculpt really pops out. It may not be that visible in this video, but in person, it looks good actually. You can actually feel the fur texture of this figure. It is truly exquisite. In the paint job, the body is painted with umber brown and dry brushed with lighter brown highlights. Although there's an issue with my copy, we're gonna take a look at the eyes of the roaring head. As you can see, the right eye is not placed correctly, but the left eye is actually well placed. The teeth is very well painted with bright yellow, including some washes of darker yellow in the teeth. So for the articulation, it is well executed for a Kong figure and it suits what Kong's movement needs. The engineering in the neck is spot on. It gives Kong more range in the head and neck. Haya finally gave Kong some butterfly joints too. The waist has an acceptable range if you move it upwards, but lacks some range moving downwards. The legs now possess a drop-down joint. This way, we can give Kong's legs more forward range and backward range. Overall, the articulation of this figure is well executed, with a price point of only $50. So for the accessories, we have the closed fists, relaxed hands, tree-grabbing hands, and the knuckle post hands. We also have a roaring face, a grinning face, and his tree. This he used this tree to smash it on the skull crawler's face. The painting of the tree is great. You can see some great painting in the small areas of the tree. It is painted with brown overall. The roots are made of soft rubber. The fingers of the tree holding hands are actually made with very soft rubber. And because of that, you don't need to worry about breaking the fingers of this accessory. It is very soft and it holds the tree firmly. Scale. So this figure stands about 5.5 inches tall. The tree accessory's length is at 6 inches. Here's a few comparison with the other figures so you could estimate how tall this figure is. And if you're wondering, yes, you can swap the heads of SH Monster Arts Kong and the Hayatoys Kong. So overall, the only issues I've found with this figure is that the painting on the right eye of the roaring head is not placed correctly, and the proportion of this figure is not 100% accurate to the film. Kong from Kong Skull Island was supposed to look like this. But instead, we got a little bit fat Kong. But hey, the overall figure however is great. 
and it deserves to have some recognition. It's a good comp figure despite of the flaws it has. In my opinion, this is one of the best comp figures to date. The material used for this figure is great because it makes the figure much more playable, even for the kids who wants a Hayatoy's Kong from Kong Skull Island. I'd rate this figure for about 8 over 10 stars.